this. What is that? Made good? Oh my gosh. Somebody was giving out healthy snacks for Halloween? Yeah, what the fuck, right? <laughs> uh, so we're we're live. No! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Dad, gum. <laughs> you told me to go live. I'm sorry. That'll be the yeah, most. I didn't know you actually did. Okay. Well, let me back up. Healthy Halloween candy. <laughs> <laughs> that will be the entrance in the history of this show ever. Oh, oh. guys! Hey, Dripping Springs. You, hey, y'all. Typically, have a potty mouth. Um, it just happens to pop out whenever it's healthy food on Halloween. I guess. Well, yeah. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to embrace it and own it. Um, I hope no children were watching. That is not how I usually roll. And, um, I don't know if we were alive when I was showing Chris's display. This is my son's Halloween haul. Which this is an impressive is haul. But, I mean, this ball, look, y'all, it's bigger than my face. Um, and you can buy this ball for like $1.50 at HEB. So when you are late to a potluck, but you don't want to show up with everything prepackaged, you buy one of these bowls and you just dump the um, three bagged salads into it and it fills it up and it looks like you really worked hard. You now have let two secrets out of the bag today. Yeah. Two pro of them. Tip, pro tip, me to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And sorry, I'm over here. I'm sucking on candy. Ashley's eating candy. Um, Guys, it's two o'clock. It's Monday. This is the weekly drip. I am Chris Peshek with the Dripping Springs Home Team. And I'm going to let Ashley introduce herself today. Because if y'all don't know, there's a over there, there's a <laughs> new, there's a new thing over there above Ashley's head. Yes, yes. So I am owner and founder of Atomic Properties Group at Keller Williams. And um, that just was released into the world today. And if I talk about it for too long, I'll probably start crying. So I'll give the the brief nitty gritty. Um, I've been a licensed agent for um, just almost five years. And um, I've been in the industry a little over 10. And I decided I need to be a leader. And I need to step out. So that's what I did. And um, Atomic Properties Group is the brand that I decided I wanted to develop. And uh, I didn't know that the logo and stuff would actually change today, Chris. Um, so that was like a big stinking surprise. So your husband sent it to me and I didn't think I would be able to get it done. But I was like last second, I got it finished. Um, and it's not perfect because there's a couple of color discrepancies but it's pretty close it's pretty darn close i'm <laughs> excited i'm excited yeah. i'm so Can happy you? for you i'm and thank i'm proud you. of you god i'm thank proud of you. you thank you well um i wouldn't be sitting here well on the weekly drip without you uh but <laughs> <laughs> thanks for qualifying that and um, in real estate, um, you guys, if, if you don't know, Chris and I, we don't work together. We're not even with the same broker, the same real estate company. Um, we're technically kind of competitors out in this field. Um, but we it's... realized a long time ago, shout out to Leadership Dripping Springs Class 4, that we're hashtag Ooh. other. And um, so, you know, when you're thinking, oh, oh, Chris and Ashley, they're, they're co-workers. No, we're not. No. We're not. We just we're, are both full enthusiastic about Dripping Springs. That too. We, we're extremely competitive competitors. And, you know, we are at each other's throats nonstop, except for the show. No, that's a lie. The arm wrestling that goes down. That's right. Camera. That's right. It's very and, and, open. And the thumb lot. wrestling, too. And yeah. the thumb wrestling. I got the arm wrestling down, but Ashley whips my butt at thumb wrestling. So. <laughs> Man, I missed you last week. Um, and the week before. Hey, Miss Denise. Um, Denise is one of our preferred title reps. Um, she works at Corridor. We have lots. She is of also class four. Let's let's mm -hmm. you know the important part. <laughs> I don't know. Corridor is pretty important to my business. Well, that's true. Corridor is important. <laughs> Corridor is important. Uh, and, uh, yeah. In my personal life, though, Miss Denise is very important. She's a dear friend of mine, and I'm so grateful for her. Um, I hope I don't overuse the word grateful today, but my sense of gratitude runs real deep. Are, are you feeling a little sentimental today, Ashley? Mm -hmm. cool. I am. I am. I am. 
I, I fell into the industry. I thought I was going to be a wedding photographer. And I met a man that said, why don't you come photograph listings for me? And at the time I was like, because I think that's, uh, um, well, no, I'm sorry. That was a, that wasn't our mutual friend, but you were uh, doing a lot of photos for our mutual friend. No, but our mutual friend was on that team. So that man was um, Jason Tarr. He's no longer in the business and hasn't been for a while. But whenever he asked me to come photograph for him, I'm like, God, I'm not going to get any money doing that. <laughs> but I didn't realize the volume taking and I didn't realize that in that moment, like my life really did change. It just took a long time to get here. So I think we all have those people, right? That you like look back and you're like that teacher or educator. What life did you change? You probably yeah. did. You don't even know it. Um, so for me, that man, like cha he changed my life um, and my trajectory. Yeah. I have a college degree for Christ's sake. I never, I don't need it. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we're in a totally different industry. And I was like, I'm going to do this forever at 21 years old. Mm -mm, not by a long shot. Yeah. I mean, you know, because everything works out that you plan at age 20. Uh, <laughs> let's let's get rolling with the reason that we're here on Mondays, which is let's talk about some Dripping Springs local. Oh, it's businesses. not me. We're not here to talk about me today. Well, I mean, you're you're a huge part of this. You're in, you're in, in fact, you're exactly half of this. Um, <laughs> 50 percent. <laughs> Exactly. But, uh, but yeah, yes, let, let's give some okay. local shout outs. Well, uh, I want to talk about this first. Okay. okay. This big bowl of candy. I, I have not been eating candy all day. Um, <laughs> I did employ the mom tax, but, um, I don't live in a neighborhood that trick or treats. Um, and I mean, honestly, you don't really either. So mm -hmm. I know there wasn't a line of kids knocking on your door asking for candy. So I have to go mooch off other neighborhoods. And last night I went over to Arrowhead because my son wanted to trick or treat from friends with friends. And I'm telling you, this has got to be a solid five pounds of candy that that kiddo collected in like an hour. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so when I'm thinking about kid friendly neighborhoods, I have a few. And sometimes Arrowhead escapes me on that list. I'm putting them right back on the list. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't have a better Halloween neighborhood. I'm and I, I'm in there all the time with my Friday show and and with yeah, clients you like you are, and there, there's always kids riding around in there or driving around on bikes and and um, golf carts and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a lot of kids in Arrowhead, so very kid friendly neighborhood. Um, no, our our neighborhood we don't have lines of kids because they don't want to walk the quarter mile up the driveway to my house um and all the other houses out here it's not a quarter mile really i'm just exaggerating but um i we we did last year our neighborhood always does a um somebody always puts on a hayride for the kids oh, and we, cool. don't have, we don't have kids but i know this because of our neighbors so they jump on a hayride they ride around and um there's kind of certain houses that are that are and you can get on the list as a trick-or-treat house um, you know, so that the hayride will stop off as you go. And on our road, it's a really short road. Uh, our neighbors had the idea, like, let's just put out a table with candy out at the end of the road. So when yeah. the kids come by. So so that's how we rolled last night. Um, well, actually, that's how the neighborhood rolled last night. I was um, I was busy working in the yard and, and doing stuff like that because that's what I do on, you know, Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> well, hit or miss on good weather. Last night was definitely perfect weather. Um, Beautiful. And while I'm shouting out about Halloween, um, our family also went out to 12 Fox this weekend. They had a trunk or treat for the kids. Friday night was their 21 and up costume contest. Um, why I got hooked up with the, the kid friendly thing. And it just, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it probably 20 more times. I just love that place. Their events yeah. are like second to none. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about. Halloween and I'm putting this bowl really far away because I'm just, I'm, I'm on camera. I've lost my mind. I'm saying curse words. Just I'm keep, it's me. fine. Just keep eating. It's fine. I'm, I've gotten my candy over here as well. We're just going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. 12 Fox is obviously one of our favorites. Um, yeah. I may or may not be a member of their uh, mug club over there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Are you a founding member? I feel like you would have been. I am not a founding member. Um, but I, yeah, Cerise, yeah. 12 Fox should pay us. Dang right they should. <laughs> as much as we're up there, you would think they would. 
We do talk uh, about Twelve Blocks a lot, and I love Joe and Stacey. Um, so anytime I can talk about good people, I'm I'm gonna do it for sure. That's hilarious. How do we get on the Twelve Blocks payroll? Exactly. Um, and yes, oh, you didn't miss a Monday. Shelly destroyed us this morning. By the way, if y'all are looking for good workouts, um, go somewhere else because Shelly's workouts will kill you. No, I'm joking. It was a it was an amazing workout with CG this morning at five o'clock, like we always roll. Out of way. I yeah. love it. I love it. I did not. Boy, I was grumpy pants this morning too because I was up late watching the Astros and the Cowboys both come back from deficits to win. Oh, I thought you were about to upset the Astros. Whoa, hold on. We need to reevaluate this friendship. Wait, what? Astros. What did I? Astros. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll have you know, I was at the last baseball game ever in the Astrodome. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty I got to cool. tour the Astrodome after it closed in 2017. Yeah. Well, it was in 2018. So they had won in 2017. So yeah. they had like, the statue in there. It was probably the longest line I've ever waited in, in my entire life. Wow. It was like four hours of standing in line, but well, we did all it. All of Houston. Yeah, all of yeah. Houston. <laughs> um, I think uh, there's probably tons of fun memory stories people could share about the Astro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Texas staple. Um, and uh, you're a Cowboys fan as well. I am. And yeah, they even without starting quarterback last night, they won. What's up? That's cool. Uh, actually, I, I've got to be I've got to be honest. I don't watch very much NFL football. I was just going back and forth because between the innings was so long last night. I needed something to do. Got um, it. Got it. I was really surprised because I'm like, I thought you were a college guy. Um, I am. I, I I gave up on pro football a long time ago. I, I think I typically watch about three games a year and one of them is usually the Super Bowl. So I don't see the Cowboys play much. Got it. We're an NFL family. Um, there's a really unique opportunity, though, for our, our Cub Scouts. And actually, this isn't just for local Cub Scouts. It's for all Cub Scouts. Um, Jerry opened up um, the Death Star for the kids to come camping. Oh, the camping thing. Yeah. Yeah. So this uh, Friday night, Cub Scouts from all over are going to get to camp at Cowboy Stadium. And um, they do like a movie on the field. And it's really, really awesome. That's yes, cool. Denise, were you at the game? That Denise was, was a big game. That was yep. a fun game. <laughs> that was a butt whipping. <laughs> that was a fun game. Now, I heard a rumor that just like last weekend or something, our band beat Johnson's band by like one point to advance to state. Ooh. And talk about like now this is the new rivalry because Johnson High School in Buda hasn't been open very long. <laughs> um, and they were really going to bring it because they were undefeated. We were undefeated. There was supposed to be like 9,000 people there. I was there. There was not 9,000 people there. I was about to say. <laughs> It was not that crazy. Um, and boy, did our Tigers whip butt. They scored one goal. Um, Touchdown. In the last, whatever. Yay, sports. <laughs> <laughs> they, they scored goal um they made a touchdown um in the last two minutes of the game and that's not even like the point here it was like 52 to 7 yeah. it was it was crazy and we were our group um our church tailgates for it so we go to all of them and we sit by the band and it was like man what a luxurious life that you get sick of hearing the fight song because your team <laughs> like what a time to be a tiger that's good stuff <laughs> that is good stuff so super exciting. Yeah. Um, we, God, we are flying through and I, I wrote down that I was going to talk about three different businesses. So I better get started. Oh yes. I have a couple more to talk about too. Oh so no. That, okay. Go good. Oh, sorry. good. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's, it's awesome. Um, the, the first one I want to talk about, and I, if, if you watch my, uh, raise the roof Friday, I've already talked about it a little bit. Um, Shelly, who is a Cowboys fan as well. Duh boys. No, it's not the boys about them cowboys that's what it is and uh shelly also has a dog now did you see her post it's a cute dog um <laughs> yes that dog was already in costume i believe yes the dog was already in costume which is a <laughs> poor dog uh anyway shelly was telling me about her experience at wilson appliance out on uh, on 290 towards austin and just is on me to give them as many shout outs as possible just she what and i'll give a little bit of the backstory uh her and her husband are, are building a new house and because appliances are, are a long way out and supplies are a little low 
um, you know, they went and are trying to procure a, a refrigerator early. And so the one that they wanted, they couldn't get at Home Depot in time. And somebody told her, actually, uh, Pete Tao, who is a good friend of hers and works out with us in the morning, told her, go to Wilson Appliances because they deal in all refrigerators and stuff. It's mm -hmm. not just the high and high end. And so they went in and not only were they able to get the refrigerator that they were going to get from Home Depot, it's also cheaper at Wilson Appliances because they don't, uh, I guess they have some different, uh, like they don't go through the same middlemen or something. So the prices were actually better. They're going to get it in uh, cheap, uh, earlier. And I didn't know this about them, but they do all of their own in-house uh, warranty work and repair work. Yep. So you don't have to go through GE or Whirlpool or Samsung or whatever. If you buy appliances from Wilson, they're the people that service them. And that's huge right now because servicing is, God, that's one of the things that's so far out because there's, you know, there's so much need for it. So just having that here in our hometown is awesome. How many people are watching right now? I don't know. Like a handful. It's not yeah. a ton, right? Y'all, yeah. you can call them about appliances you didn't buy from them. <laughs> I did not say that. Ashley's breaking all the rules today. I've had too much, too many Reese's. I That's needed right. to go to ECG today. They, they will, they will service appliances that you bought from other people. Yeah, yes. they will. <laughs> and and they have in-house service. So again, you're dealing with people that, that, I mean, they're your neighbors. They they live out here. This isn't, you know, the, the large manufacturing service centers that you're calling. This is Wilson Appliance. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, yeah, Shelly was really excited because her husband got to spend like two hours in there talking about um, <laughs> talking about coffee makers and built in coffee makers and double coffee makers. And I don't even know what all. Well, so, so um, I don't I don't know how many people are watching or will watch this, but I feel as though um, Shelly has already let more people know about Wilson's <laughs> what we'll do here because. I ran into her and your wife in the wild, and um, <laughs> she told me all about them, along with the coffee machine. And she's like, you can just push a button on your phone, and it's perfect for you. And I was like, I make my husband make my coffee? And she's like, girl, you know I'm up at like 445, out the door for CG. I'm like, oh, yeah, he would never wake up and make my coffee better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like there's so, an app for that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. My my wife makes her husband make that coffee for her too. That's so, so sweet. yeah, that's so sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet. Speaking of coffee, this is this might be my favorite shirt. I don't, you know, not just because it's like old school and it's it it covers both ends of Mercer Street. So guys, if you are new to Dripping Springs and you don't know what the barbershop is, that is not where you go get your haircut. Um, if you want to go to the barber shop, you go to Hitched Barber Trailer, which is where I go, and you go see Dina. But the barber shop is a little uh, little bar down. It's it, it's an old barber shop, um, but it's down on Mercer Street on the uh, east end, and it's kind of the it's kind of a real local hangout. It's a cool place, but it's a good mix of of kind of new people and and uh, the old locals that hang out there. Very fun place to hang out. And then at the other side there is Mazama coffee. Like I said, we're going to talk about coffee. Um, Mazama has been one of the staples down on Mercer for a long time. Um, really good coffee. Mm -hmm. They, Oh, Erica and I went on uh, Sunday morning, I guess. And she had one of their, like their sandwiches, but um, I always get, they've got the, uh, the ham and cheese croissant. Oh my gosh. So good. And their coffee. Oh. Style. My go-to um, for a meal, because they don't do the gluten, and oh uh -huh. my gosh, anything they put on a croissant there is like sinful. Yeah. Like it's kind of worth the hurt, but I, I don't do it anyway. <laughs> Our family pops through there for peach pear smoothies. I mean, they are amazing and really filling. I don't know what the nutritional content is. It's got to be terrible because I like it a lot. Um, so I just don't want to know. Um Mushroom coffee. What's mushroom coffee? This is a thing. I didn't know Mazama had it. Um, what I kind first, of mushrooms? It, it's all kinds. I, I first ran into it in in, uh, in Denver about a month ago. Oh, I have uh, a lot more questions now that you ran into it in Denver. No, 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 no. Not like hallucinogenic mushrooms. <laughs> It's like it, it's there's different mushrooms for like different types of healthy eating and oh I, yeah I like, like lion's mane is really right. phenomenal for brain health for brain activity yeah 
Yeah, it, those also kind of lend themselves to be more like seafood. Like, um, uh, obviously, I haven't been eating them because I'm having trouble making the comparison. Yeah, exactly. Scallops, <laughs> like, um, they kind of lend themselves in that direction. Like, yeah, it's almost like amazing. a vegan scallop. Um, yeah, and so that's that's the idea. They have the different mushrooms that have different types of health properties, and they'll blend them with coffee. And then when you cook them, you get like it extract, just like with coffee, it extracts the good stuff out of the mushroom. So it's just mushrooms and coffee. Fascinating. Fascinating. And I don't see, I didn't try it. I can't speak to how good it is, but um, anyway, evidently Mazama's got it. So there you go. If you want some lion's mane brain food coffee. So while we're on the topic of things that sound weird to be in a drink, um, <laughs> Dripping had, and, and then I'll let you give your other shout outs. Oh, you're fine for later we had our first like real haunted house this year um it was the the hell country haunt at dripping springs ranch park it said 13 and up but we took wyatt anyway yeah. and um he's a pretty conservative kid when it comes to scary stuff but he did great and the only reason i took him is i went to that same haunted house when it was in a neighborhood and um the people that put it on they are the owners of the Cava place in belterra and if you've never experienced kava, um, it's it's fascinating. Like it it doesn't taste the best, so they can add some stuff to it. I call it dirt water. Um, but the proper <laughs> kava are pretty amazing. Like it's after I um, had uh, some of their kava, I was driving home and I I was so relaxed. I was like, I feel like I just had a couple of cocktails. Like my shoulders relaxed. Um, anything I was worked up about like that just kind of went away as well. Are you sure they didn't have some of those good mushrooms in there? I'm positive. It's okay, dirt. I'm just, I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe they have another location on like Barton Springs. That was like their original location. Yeah. And I haven't um, circled back with, with Tracy in a, a while. Um, so I don't, I don't know about that location, but um, they are located in Belterra village. Um, most West, shopping center like by simply foe and the vet yeah. place and westlake dermatology i think is in there as well um so just a really neat experience that um i really enjoyed uh and their haunted house was so much fun it was awesome and i so i heard a little bit of a backstory on the haunted house and i hope this is right um it was it was basically a family that had kind of started it was getting bigger and bigger with their neighbors yeah. And it got too big. So they were looking for another place to do it. They decided on the ranch park. And I guess this year, all the proceeds have gone are going to the Burke house. Yep. Is that correct? Okay. That is correct. And um, to go through, it was like 15 bucks a pop. Um, and I waited over an hour to get on wow. the hay ride to go. And another friend was like, go at the very end. So you don't have to wait in the really long line. So I'm uh. certain some people waited even longer. Um, and it was, phenomenal it was jumpy scary um now that halloween's over you don't have the opportunity to go till yeah. next year but probably the creepiest part was they had child actors um and so when you would walk in they were like gnawing on like a, a leg or something <laughs> and then in a real creepy way shelly they'd be like do you want to come play with me and they would follow you <laughs> And they're like my son's height. And I'm like, I just want to like drop kick these kids. <laughs> like, <"Whoa." laughs> do you want to play with us? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. See, I don't do, I, I, I don't know that I could do haunted houses. I'm not, I'm not all down with that. I don't, I don't really even like scary movies, but we did watch um, Fear Street. There's like three movies out. One of them's Fear oh, Street 1994. Like, yeah. I've seen that series. That's At, it's, I love yeah. the 90s one because the music. Yeah, like, the music was awesome. My wife was yeah. like, this is like scream all the great music. Yes. It yes. was, yeah. There was a lot was. of Rob Zombie played the movie in that was, one. Yes, there was. <laughs> and, uh, and, and and the movie was good. Um, or the show or the that sequence. Uh, yeah, it ended a little bit um, a little differently. I, well, I you have to watch that. the other two if you haven't yet. They all yeah, we're, we're going to. I think oh, we're going to okay. watch the second okay. one tonight. It'll make more sense. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So it's R.L. Stein. Um, my wife was saying cool. that she thought that it was a book series. My wife's a huge reader. So, I, God, if she's watching this, it's going to take the surprise away. I was going to say maybe I should get her that for Christmas, but never mind. She'll buy it for herself. <laughs> all right. Uh, 
Which okay. is something we should do on Here's the Drip. Let's start bringing holiday ideas. So Halloween's behind us, Thanksgiving's around the corner, and then boom, Christmas. It'll be here. So we're going to work on that for you guys. Okay, so here's something that I'm going to do next week. Ashley, please hold me to it and make sure that I do it. I have okay. to ask my wife's permission first. But, um, wait, what? Oh, puppy has her first trip. Y'all never talk about the vets. Shelly is taking her puppy to um, um, Springs Vet Care right there okay. behind McDonald's. Uh, Dr. Right Amanda now. Smith. Yeah, that's that's where all the cool kids go. Is that where we all go? <laughs> We've got a lot of great vets in town, but uh, Dr. Smith is awesome. She's really, really tied into the Chamber of Commerce. That's how I got to meet her. Um, so that's definitely where we go. Um, but so I have to ask my wife. I think what we should do. I think what we should do is we should on next week's show, we should talk about our favorite uh, Thanksgiving dessert and we should give the group uh, the recipe so, okay. they can, uh, so they can have it. Uh, that'll be our, our Thanksgiving gift to the masses. I love our, it. Our favorite Thanksgiving dessert. Ooh, I love it. I could I could answer that right now. <laughs> I love it. I can I can too, but I don't know if I can give the recipe out because it's a closely guarded family secret. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Not really, but I'll explain next week. Okay. I look forward um, to that. Oh, so we gotta go, but can I drop a bombshell on you? Shoot, I don't know. Like I don't know how many people are watching right now. This could cause the dripping springs interwebs to explode. Okay. We are going to have a verifiable fast food burger war out here is p terry's coming better Dance? mighty mighty fine <sighs> what are you talking about we can no longer be friends that is the best hamburger in this entire like 15 county area outside you know of what? i might be yeah. confused kind with five guys one of them is exorbitantly expensive that's and five guys real mad is it five that's guys five guys that's five guys and i shouldn't say that i should say the best fast food hamburger because i mean road runners and route 12 i mean those are amazing that's hamburgers. Different. That's a fast food it food. is it is but yes so mighty fine burgers is coming to a location very very near you and i'll just tell you it's supposed to be over close to belterra Yay! So, there you go all the food that you ever wanted to eat and more is going to be out in belterra there you go. Now the entire internet's going to blow up. It's going to be on Dripping Springs, Neighbors, and all this other stuff, and people are going to be wanting to target next. Anyway. Burger Wars! Burger Wars! All right. <laughs> Guys, we're here every Monday. We just happen to have a little bit more fun today than we normally do. Um, it's the candy. <laughs> it is the candy, and I'm still eating candy, so if I sound a little mush mouth, I've got uh, hard candy in. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be back here next Monday at 2. We're going to definitely talk about our favorite Thanksgiving desserts, share that with y'all. But until then, if y'all need anything in terms of recommendations around town, food, drink, I don't know, vets, daycare, doggy daycare, all of that stuff, reach out to us. And if you've got any real estate need, you can reach out for that as well. Thank you, Miss Ashley. Talk to you next week. Toodaloo.